Very not sure. Okay, anyway, uh, we saw yesterday <clears throat> the Mishnah had, had said that Koha ha Prezibo Yoda al ha Taftoina. Initially, we thought it was speaking about a Skiris and we asked the Kasha on Rav. The Gemara concluded it's not speaking about Skiris at all, it's speaking about a case of Mechira. The person sold the field for a thousand Zuz, he gave him 200 Zuz, and he changed his mind. If the market changes his mind, you collect from idiots. But the if the Lekech changes his mind, he collects from, and the, and the Moichel wants to give him property, he collects from Ziburius. We said one shot was it meant from the idius of his, meaning his, uh, of that particular field. And the Ziburius means the Ziburius that particular field. Then we saw a Kiddush that if he's a Masik, then he can collect from his idius, and therefore he was Masikim because he had to sell all, all, all his uh, assets to buy the, to get the 200 Zuz in the in the first place. And Rabbi Shemuel came up with an Eitzah, to go ahead and avoid all this. Rav Shemgim Lil said, you should go ahead and uh, lend, buy, buy the field for $1,000, 1000 Zuz, only give them 200 and the uh, that, uh, 800 would be considered a halva on the other 800, but you were kind of the whole field. That was that was his etza. Okay, so we're going to pick it up on Ayin Zayin Omid Beis. Before it gets wide, three lines up. Rav Shemgim Lil Aymer, Malamdin, my son, we teach them Shalayachziru, that they shouldn't go ahead in order to ensure that none of them changes their mind. Ketzad, Kaisav, I need plenty, Ben plenty. I sell my field, such and such, and Zuck for love and Milva, and it's going to be what? A Milva. Time of the cost of Lahafi. The reason is because you had to write it out. Mashman, the reason why it becomes Alva is because you wrote it out. Halav Hafi, Halai Kasav Hafi, if you didn't write it out, Lai, Lai Kana, then you won't be Kaina, and therefore you only get 200. You won't be Kaina the whole, the whole thousand dollar field, you only get the 200. So that's Rabbi Shemuel is much where you have to write it out in order to go ahead and make it a complete mechira. Right? The Gemara of Tanya, we learned in a brisa, Hanoisein Arvoin Lechaveray. Someone gives an an, an Arvoin, a security for a sale, not as a down payment. In other words, it's not a down payment, but it's not. It's to ensure that the sale will go through. He gives him an Arvoin. He gives him a collateral. So Amar Lo and he says, Imani Chayzabi. If I go back on the deal, Ervuni Machlacha. My my security is Michael Field. Like Hech says, you can. Be assured, I'm not going back on the deal because if it does, my my uh, security is, is going to be mindful to you. But hello, Omar, and the other fellow says, "Imani chayza b." And if I go ahead and and change my mind, the Micah says, "If I change my guess what? I'll go ahead and double down on your on your on your security." So these people are you know, this guy matanai to Reb Yosi. Reb Yosi says, "If the, if the like is chayza, then the Micah keeps it. If the Micah is chayza, it gets back double." Now, why would you believe this, guys? Do they really mean it, guys? Okay. No, they didn't mean it. Why do we call that? An asmachta. Rabbi Yaisi, letamei, dam asmachta kanya. This is Rabbi Yaisi, because according to his reasoning, an asmachta, when a person says something, doesn't really mean it, because he feels what? He's going to go ahead and not be chesu the deal is kainah, and therefore, the tie goes through. Rabbi Yehuda, you're not going to get the whole field, but you'll get is what? 200. Because he holds that what that that it's what it's uh it's not like Kanya. When when do you go back and oh, only only two hundred? In other words, when will the 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 security only secure the amount that it's worth? That's when he says that Arvoni Yakum that my erev should be kainah. However, Machalei said the beelav zuz he sells him a field for a thousand zuz. And he gives him 500 kana, he acquires it. It's it's a sale after many, it's a full sale, and he owes him 500, and you get it back after, after many years. Now, who said this? Was there a condition stated, or simply there was a transaction? Just simply was a transaction. It was for 1,000, he gave him 500, yet the first time around, in the case of the 100 to 200, what did he do? He said you had to make a whole condition and speak it out that one. So what, what is it? Do you have to make this condition about making the whole vote or not? So that's the kasha. Like kasha, it's not shver. Why? There's a difference. Like kasha, why is it why why is it not shver? If you see the Micha chasing the Leva to get back his money, no, it's to get the the, the, the payment. Obviously, he wasn't mocking the field to him until he gets his money. That's the first case. That's where you have to write it out. 
in the second case where he gave him the 500 and the 1,000, right? In that case, even, right, he's not going after him. Since he's not going after him, we know that what? He sold it to him at right, and he was owed the 500. So it depends upon the Moichah's actions afterwards. The guy says, don't make a mistake. It has nothing to do with the 200 and 500. The amount is negligible. It doesn't have to do with the amount. It has to do with the actions of the Moichah. If the Moichah is going ahead and chasing after the guy, you see that he's not secure, he's going to get his money, and therefore he's not it. If on the other hand, he gives him the money, the, the Loikea gives him, uh, gives him a down payment, and he doesn't chase after him, you see that, wow, he was mocked at him, and then it remains alone. And that will go ahead, explain the difference in between Rishim Gamliel. The Amar Rava, Rava says, Haiman Duzav and Midi Lechave. Someone sells something to his friend, the Kaya of Anafi Gazuze, and he, he's chasing after him, Loikana, right? Then he doesn't acquire it. Loikaya of Anafi Gazuze. If he doesn't chase after him, then Kana. Let's see Tysus over here. I have enough because you say like Kana. Listen to the Skittish fellas. Nira, the Iri Afilu Masha Kamek at Mabkach. Even if he makes a Kenyan Meshicha. Even if he makes a Kenyan Meshicha. In Loi Pirish Bishas Mechira, unless you say at the time of this Mechira, Meshicha Zu to a Kaina Chefetze, this Meshicha should acquire this Chefetz. Bezuze Lahavi Halva, Gaboy, and the money that you owe should be a Halva. Says Taisus of Kiddush Nifla, guys. This is what he says. Mm-hmm. Rabbi's case, mm-hmm. where he says he's going after him, Kaina Loi Kaina, is speaking where there was a Kenyan. So it's not speaking only about land. You sell, you sell, you sell a coat. You're selling a coat for a uh, hundred bucks. The guy gives you a down payment of 50 bucks. So Pashtut, you say, he only, he does Mashiach on the coat. He does Mashiach on the coat, right? And he walks away. And he walks away. The tailor runs after him a week later, two weeks later. Where's my money? Where's my money? Says Taisvis, he's not coin of the coat. Says Taisvis, he's not coin of the coat. How would he be coin of the coat? How, unless it's stated outright that it's a halva. Unless it's stated out like Bishas that, that he, he took jurisdiction of the coat and he spoke it out that I'm giving you this is what as a halva, the rest is halva, similar to the case of the 200 and the 100, where he told him, write it out, write it out. So this is where is I have enough guys who say. So again, taking the Gemara, says Taisus can apply it even where there was a Kenyan, even there was a Kenyan, right? That, 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 that's what it says Taisus. He's going to give him back the money? Yes, deals off. Either, either give me the rest of the money and okay. keep the coat, or give me back. The deal's not, there's no Kenyan. The money's not a halva by you. It's give it down, give back to me. That's the difference between the two. Rama Rava says, Rava, another din in, 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 in this, in, regarding this, these issues. Haiman the Oisve Meazus the He lent his friend a hundred Zuz, who per Zuza Zuza, and he pays them back one at a time. Piroyan Have, it's a Piroyan. He has complaints against him. You cost me what? A hundred zoos. Guys, we all know this. If you ever go ahead and give a person a loan, if they're going to pay you back piecemeal, you'll never get back all the money. Because what happens, you just fritter it, fritter, 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 fritter it away. It doesn't, if you lend someone $1,000, it gives you back $1,000, you have $1,000, but it pays you back I'm going to give you a hundred dollars a month, and you know, for ten months, it goes away. So it's, it's, it's a Gemara, and the guy Tarimus, you can have Tarimus on you. That that uh, this day Tarimus got paid. The Amale after the Tinu Minoy, who gave the seven lechamel lechavre. Person went ahead, and he sold Chama to his friend. Who Pashle? I guess he bought. He bought Chama to his friend. Pashle had was he sold? Who Pash Pashle had Zusa. And it was a Zuz, so let's say it was a hundred dollars, and he get, paid him ninety nine. The Kyle Menafek Zuza, and this Meicha is chasing after him for the for the dollar for the Zuz. Yasser Avashi become Ayin Ba Ki I Gav Namai Kani Aloi Kana. Does it have the din of what that he doesn't want to be mocked to him, or do we say that you know what since it's, a, it's such a minimal amount, right? He just wants to get his money, but not that he wasn't mocked it, right? Again. Why did it start him? Since he's going after him, he's m- m- revealing he didn't want the deal to go through. Or what? Since he's going after him, you know, he wants the deal to go through, but still he's uh, 
You know, he's a tight guy and he wants his money. I'm a Rav Mordechai Ravashi. Very rare do we see Rav Mordechai, but it's occasionally he's there. I'm a Rav Mordechai Ravashi. Hachi Amr Avimi Mehagrunya Mishmei Derava Zuza Kizuze. One Zuz is like what? Kizuze Dami. The Lake Honey. Just like if it was it was $100 and he only paid 30 and he owes 70 it's the same who pays 99 he owes one. Zuza, a singular Zuz, is Kizuze. It's like multiple Zuz. Amalei Rav Acha Breda Rav Yosef Rav Ashi Vamina Mishmei Derava you are saying, you, Rav Avimi Meagrunya, saying the name of Rabbi, not Kaina, but we heard in the name of Rava from Rav Yosef in the, to Rav Ashi that Rava says, you are Kaina. That Rava says, you are Kaina. So I'm a lay, Kitargim Shmaitzef, go ahead and say the case where Rava said, you Kaina, the Moicha Sedeu Amid Aleph, where a person selling a field, Mifnei Ra'asa, he's selling a field, what? Because what? It's a junky field. And that, that he's going after him to collect. It's not because he wasn't knocking at the field. He doesn't want the Lakeya to go back. Nice. He's chasing after him to get the money. Because he not because he's not knocking it, because he wants to make sure that the Lakeya doesn't go back on the deal. So he wants the money, but not for himself, just to ensure the Lakeya doesn't go back on the deal. In that case, what? In that case, or you would be kinder. So that's the difference in the cases. And then now going to the Mishnah gives a few cases. Pshita, now it's obvious. Boy Lizmune Bimea. Guy wants to sell the he has a small property. He wants to sell it. He needs money. He wants to sell it for 100 sous. Well, Yashka, he couldn't find anyone to buy it for 100 sous. But he needed money. So what did he do? He took a larger field that it was in his possession. And he sold it for 200 sous. And the person who bought it didn't pay the, the full amount. And he was going after him to collect the rest. He was going after him to collect the rest. In this case, in this case, it's Pashit that what? That he's not Kana. In other words, you might think that only... Since he was willing to sell it for a hundred sous in the first place, and he, and he got a hundred sous from the second sale, so you might think, what he's he's mocking in the field. Kamash Malon, in that case, he's not mocking in the field, even though what he he because he didn't want to sell this bigger one. Obviously, the whole reason he's selling the bigger one is because he couldn't sell the smaller one. But but so that that he's going after him is because he he's mocked not to be mocked until he gets his full money. That's pushit. Ella, you want a kasha? Is a kasha, right? You want a kasha? El kasha. Eli, boy, is bune b'meya. He wants to sell for a hundred. He doesn't find somebody. However, if he would trouble himself, have mishkach. In other words, it's not this. It's not overpriced. It's like a bad season. But if you try very hard, you'll be able to get for this small field. You'll be able to get the hundred. Now he didn't try. And what did he do? Then he sold the other field for a hundred. So again, it's the same scenario with the exception being this field he could sell. The, the small field in the first scenario was. Un- un- unsellable. This one he could sell, but it's going to go ahead and it's going to be a tercha. He's going to he's going to have to he's going to have to work at it, right? But he doesn't want any matriach. So in this case, what's the din? And now he sells it for two hundred. The other guy gives him a hundred. The ka'ayel v'nafik azuzei, and he's going afterwards. And we want to know, my what's the din over here? Now what's the what's the stardom of the shaila over here? Why is the shaila different? It's why we could say k'moicha sadeu mifnei rasadami, right? He's selling the big field. It's it's chashiv to him. Like he didn't want to sell it in the first place, and he was a tircha to go ahead and sell the other field. And so, since he didn't go ahead and sell the field because it was bad, right? Uh, hmm? So do do we view it that since since he's not troubling himself, guys, to go after the guy, and he sold the field, it's okay. In other words, if I needed the money so much. What would I have done? I would have troubled myself to go ahead wide and find a buyer for that field. I didn't trouble myself. I sold it to you. I got my 100 sous. And therefore, it's as far as to say, even though he's going after him, right? It's good. As far as to say that, I lie. Or we say that what? It is it's it is like a bad field. Well, he's going back to after him that he wants to make sure he doesn't go back on the deal. And the Gemara says there, Eku, this remains a Shiloh that we have to wait for Elio to come answer. The last thing of the Mishnah was, he went ahead and he hired a, a, a donkey driver or a wagon driver to bring to bring a wood for a canopy or 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 a flutes for a wedding or for a mace. Meaning it's a davish of it, and the people have charata and the workers go back. And now this is something that's time sensitive. It's time sensitive, and he needs it now. So what's the din? We said you can go ahead and either or trick them. That's what that's the Mishnah said. 
Now he wants, wants to know, add comma. How much can you go ahead and trick them? Uh, so, the Omar of Nachman, at Kadesh Scharon. You can go ahead and trick them, according to Rashi, the price of what? Of what? Of what they, the, let's say, they did $100 worth of work. They did 50, you can trick, trick another 50. Or Acer, other people say full 100. Acer, very revelor of Nachman, how can you say it's Kadesh Scharon? I, the Mishnah said, Araboyim, the Araboyim, the Chamishim Zuz, for 40 or 50. So it says in the Rav, key Tanya here, the excuse me, the Brisa that says forty or fifty shebasa bechavilo. In other words, these people, you know what they do? You ever see the guys come with the Milwaukee tools and uh, what, what, Avrami, what else? Milwaukee, what other tools you have? What do they call the wall? The wall. Craftsmen. So they leave him. So what did it happen? These these guys had charata. Yeah, these guys had charata. How much the price of steak? Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy's had charata, and they left their tools, and this guy is holding on to the tools. So now they're coming, they're coming back, they're coming to get the tools. Uh, so you can go ahead and collect even 40, 50 zoos to collect your tools. So notice it's like a, he, he's, he's basically extorting them. Right? You left your tools over here, big mistake. Okay, so but but stam is like if they don't leave the tools, it's it's this guy. Okay, says the says the mission. You went ahead, you rent a donkey, and to dunk, you're going to take the donkey to the mountains, transport stuff in the mountains. And instead of going to the mountains, go to the valley. You rent a, the donkey to go in the valley, and you go on on the, on the mountain. Even if it's the same distance, and it dies, chayiv. You changed from what you're supposed to do. Mesa, it dies. Does it give a reason? No. Does not notice, guys. It does not give a reason. If you rent a donkey, again the same scenario. You go to the bahar and you go in the valley. In the if the animal slips in the valley, potter. Why? Because if it slipped in the valley, it certainly would slip on the mountain. Then huchmu. And if it gets overheated in in, uh, in the valley, then chayev, because the air in the valley is not as good as the air in the mountain. So the Gemara is going to ask, why in the first case don't we make a chilik? We just say yechayev, and the second case we're making a chilik, correct? What's the difference in the ratio of the safe, fellas? In both cases, you're going ahead. In the first case, the animal is dying. In the second case, the animal is dying. In the second case, we, we, we make a chilik between slipping and over and 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 the, and overheating. Right, if it you went to in the valley and it goes in the mountain, is because in the mountain it's, it's prone to slip, which is not prone to slip in the valley. on the mountain part because it got overheated in the mountains, so only we get overheated in the valley. However, if if it if it died as a result of the ascent, then chayev. If it died as a result of the ascent, chayev. When it says about the mountain, it's speaking about the top of the mountain, the so if it died on the way up. Right? The last thing in the Mishnah, if you rent a donkey, Vebrika, we'll see what that means in the Gemara. It's a machlaikis. A shenasa sangaria, or the king takes it away. A shenasa sangaria, the king takes it away. You could say that what? So if something happens to the animal, Vebrika. You, you tell the seicha, the master can tell the seicha, here it is, it's in front of you. Right? Here, it's in front of you. According to one opinion, the Gemara says the animal went blind. So, so Tabashi says you lead the you just have to work a little harder. You'll have to lead it, lead it where you know where it doesn't bump into things. And the king didn't draft it. Oh, so the king took it. So now why is Har Sheikh Okay, so we're going to see it's speaking where what he gets it back. It's, it's, it's speaking where he gets it back, obviously. Mesa, if the animal dies, a Nishbro or Nainus happens, Chayiv. Lahamil Khamar is Chayiv to go ahead what and provide another Khamar. Because the Saikh is what is Fatab Ainsin, the mask has to provide another Khamar. Okay. Says the Gemara, Maishna Reisha, the Loi Kamaflig, or Maishna Sefer the Kamaflig. In the Reisha, we just said carte blanche, if you Mishana, then you Chayev. In the Sefer, we made a chilik between what? Between if it slipped or if it got overheated. Keep <laughs> <laughs>
I got you, I got you back. <laughs> okay, so what's the difference in the Reisha and the Sefer? Amad Rebbe Yanai, Reisha Shemesa Machmas Avia. The Reisha, it died as a result of the ear. The Aminon, Avira the Har Kutla, the Aminon, Avira the Bika Kutla. So, if you rented to go to the Bika and you went to the mountain, what are you going to say? The air of the mountain kill, killed it. If you rented to the to the go to the mountain and you went you, and you went to the valley, you're going to say it killed it over there. Let's see Tysus here. You're in Shemei Samach Mas Avir, Pirish. She Yedua, She Oisa Ayoyim, Haya Avim Mishuna Baharim, Yosem Rebbeka. You got the weather report and said, it's a bit, it's a bit day to be in the mountains, right? The air is not good. Oi Yibcho, the opposite. Misheleg, there's, there's snow. Or this, and therefore you were in the beginning, Pashay in the end. The Shini doesn't take place from mountain to mountain, it takes place from mountain to valley. In other words, you had to know that there was something wrong in the place, it's just Lakes too, a little Nakuda that you knew in the in the valley that in the mountain or the valley that day that it was a beard beard quality day, and you shouldn't have been there, and you shouldn't have been there. So that's the first terrace. Yeah. In the first one, they died because Avi there's no chilek. Yeah. The second one is the difference between overheating and hochelku, and therefore we made a difference. That's terrace number one. Rabbi Yosi Bar Chinina, terrace number two. Kigain Shemesa Machmus Uptsina. It dies as a result of Uptsina. Says Rashi, guys, Uptsina, Ayafois Yagia. Mimasa, it was overloaded, it was tired. Halicha Bahar, Yachalai Malai, Ayafas Hamaila Shalsa Laresha Har. It it died on top of the mountain, but it could be that load that you had when it schlepped up the mountain, that's what killed it. Hoyala helped Mithila Alkana Yafala, therefore it got it got it got very tired and died. Lachas Mankasha Holka Bader Khaklaka be a gia tachas masa umesa. Dim shino alicha bibika, afa pishla inu I saw mezas. And if you take it in the valley, even though you don't see it sweating, and it wasn't that hot. In other words, it, it, it drops dead in the valley because it's overtired. If it would have been up, you know, uh, on the mountain, it wouldn't have been. So therefore, that's a second teretz. That that's a second teretz. It died because of of of, of and Therefore, we don't make a chilek. Rabbi Amar Kigoyin Shekisha Nachash. It got bitten by a snake. Now, what does it mean? This is a snake in the valley, snake in the and. So look at Tysus, guys, on the Omid Beis. Yeah. Right before the right before the, the second Tysus, go up a few lines. For Rabbi the Mishani Kigain, Sheikisha Nachosh Tzarech Leimar, She Pumim Mitzuim Nachoshim Baharim Mivibika. Sometimes the snakes are found in the mountains more than the valley. Ayivko the opposite. Vahachinaki Har Ubika. Okay, so in other words, the same thing that the the person should do. It got bit by a snake. So what's the kasha? It could get bitten either place by a snake. And the answer is the same thing as what as we said earlier, that it was a beard here, it was a beard rat. It was a beard um air day. If you ever did, guys, there's a trail in Muncie. There's a trail in Muncie, mountains, and they there's there's rattlesnakes on it. If there's rattlesnakes on it, and there's signs when when it starts getting hot, the snakes who are cold blooded, they come out to eat by the sun. And the signs they beware of snakes. Obviously, I never went to that mountain. I just I heard about I it. The picture. But I, I heard about it. But no, no, no. I, I heard this that that, that that there's such a Chaim, you there? Oh, you found, I'm sure you found me there. All right, my <laughs> don't ask. Okay, anyway. So we have we have so far we have two turutsim. <clears throat> Actually, we have three turutsim. We have a terrace that the Ave killed it or it overheated or a snake at it. Her money, who's the Tana of our Mishnah? This is the fourth parrot. Yeah. It's Reb Meyehi. Reb Meyehi, the Omar who says, anyone who goes ahead and does not listen to the Dalabayas, Nikra Goslin, is called a Goslin. Okay, so now, so what's the Terrets? So what's the Terrets, Rash, Rashi? The Kama Leber Shosei, the Schaiv Bechol Einsin. And it's the Rasha that says, Yechaiv, and doesn't give a reason. You know why? You're a goslin. As soon as you were mishana, what's the halacha? It goes into your rishos. And therefore, you chayef for anything. So we didn't make a chilek. But the safer that makes a chilek between uh, slipping and 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 uh, slipping and by getting overheated and 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 and, and, and heated is the chachamim. So that would be, you know, so we have four terutzen. 
Avir in the, in the ratio, no, no, right? I, I could tie the Avir was different in one place than the other place, and when it died, or it got overheated, or it got bit by a snake, I could say it didn't happen, or the ratio is according to the Reb Meir, who says, I don't care what, you're God, whatever you do, you're a Gazlan, safe as the Chachamim. Now, okay. now the Gemara is going to try to figure out which Reb Meir are we talking about? Which Reb Meir are we talking about? <clears throat> so the first Reb Meir we know very well. I'm going to remind you of it. That mm -hmm. Reb Meir says, you go ahead, you bring a dye, you bring a wool to a dyer, to a tzaba. Say, I want this black or red, and he switches around. So says Reb Meir, says Reb Meir, that lot, that you only pay the worth of the wool. You pay the worth of the wool. Why? Because you're a goslin and you're coin of the wool, so it's your wool. And that that it got better is in your resource. The God, so the goslin just pays whatever he stole from the the dyer. Pays whatever he, whatever it was worth. The wool was fifty dollars. He pays him fifty dollars. I, it's worth a hundred dollars now. He doesn't pay the extra five, whatever it is. He pays him fifty. That's that's Remeya. So the chayri of Uriah that what. That anyone who's, who's Mishana, anyone does difference, is a Goslin. And Reb Meir, and Rabbi Huda says in that case, it depends. What do you pay? You're not Kaina. He says that you're, you're not Kaina. Shini's not Kaina. And you'll pay whichever is less, whichever is uh, more, the Yitzia or the Shvach. Says the Gemara. Ha, which Reb Meir? Which Reb Meir? Hi, Reb Meir. Which Reb Meir are we discussing that we're going to go ahead and say anyone who changes is Chai? Elam Reb Meir did Saba. If you can tell me it's Reb Meir of what? Of dying that non hanois in semel it saba it svaya le edoim it sava shachor shachor it sava edoim you change from red to black back to red but may I met no it's like the mate simray sheen is kaina therefore you're just going to pay for the worth of the wool because it goes up in your shots have you done that no in my shock yes i'd see if if the it's worth more down than the expenditures nice nice you'd see you give the expenditures and you'd see you sell a shock nice nice a shock so in Luchaira, that could be the Reb Meir that's under discussion. Says the one, maybe not. Mimai, so Meshani Hasam, the Kanya Bashini Maisa. He went ahead. He was Kaina. It was white wool. Now it's red wool. It was black wool. He was Kaina Bashini Maisa. But the Chamar that he changed is the Zelba Chamar. So there was no riot from this case that this is the Reb Meir that the Reb Meir by wool would be the Reb Meir of the Mishnah. Our Reb Meir of the Mishnah by, by the wool there was a Shino. Over here, there's no Shino. El Ahar Reb Meir, the father of the Meir. So you, you collected money for Purim to give to that Niyam on Purim. Ella Harame, the Magbis Purim, the Tanya. Magbis Purim, the Purim, right? You collect from Purim for Purim. You collect for Purim for Purim. Magbis Ayer, the Isa Ayer on Purim, right? Taisa says, and on Purim, you should give it to the people of your city. They medagdik and bedover. And you're not medagdik, you're not medagdik to give a little more, a little, a little less. Other people say you're not medagdik to give it all. You just, anyone who sticks their hand out. You buy calves, veal. You have any leftover veal? Where's the kasha? Here it is. Where's the where's the proof? As opposed to your normal tzedakah, which the oni can go ahead and and when you collect for purim, it's tzedakah for purim, and he can't use it for anything else. Elam Kane Hisna be my minan sheir unless he went conditionally with the members of the council of the city. Div Reb Yaakov Shama Mishur Reb Meir who says in the name of Reb Meir. So why do you see that it's also to be Mishana? This was collected for the purpose of Purim, and since right, and, and it's also to, to be Mishana to be something else. So too over here, it's also if you went rent rent it for the valley or or vice versa or the mountain, you can't change. So this is the Reb Meir of Purim would be the Reb Meir one of our Mishnah. Says the Gemara, Rishim Gamil Makel, he's Makel, you could change. Dilma Hosam Nami, Adaiti de Purim Mudi Yavle, Adaiti de Midi Achrina Lo Yavle. What's your Raya? Maybe there he gave it Das Purim, he didn't give it Das for anything else, says Rashi guys. Adaiti de Midi Achrina Lo Yavle, the key in the Lava, Adaiti de Hokiyo, he didn't give for sandals, he didn't give for anything else. Nimsa Mois Becheskas Vilem. If you use it for Purim, it's yours. If you don't use it for Purim, you know where the money remains? By the owner. It's in, it never left his rishus. We we'll only view it as leaving his rishus if what? If you use it for the purpose. You don't physically have to get it back, Mandy. It's not your money. It's not your money. So, Nimsus, guys, you love the Shirashi. Nimsa, Mois, the Cheskas, Bailim, Futsmina Yotze, Besudas Purim. Except what you're going to use what for? Besudas Purim. You hear this? That's, you, you hear the, 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 guys, guys, you don't this, this? You give money for Purim. Why doesn't it work if he buys a sandal? 
because it's not his. It's his to buy money for the Suda. If you don't use the money for the Suda, it remains by the, the giver, by the nice thing. Memela, this is not a riot to our Mishnah by Hamar. So who's the Reb Meir that we're talking about? Elohad the Reb Meir, the Tanya, Rav Shumil Lazayim, Rav Shumil Reb Meir. Hanoi sein dino lo'ani, likach lo'i cholok. Here's your final. You give him to buy a, a tunic. Lo yikach by talis, you shouldn't buy a talis. Talis, if you gave him money to buy a talis, lo yikach by cholok, you shouldn't buy a tunic. Mifnei, shemavar al daite shebalabayas, because he's going against the wishes of the balabayas. He's going against the wishes of the balabayas. And therefore, do not go ahead and 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 change. Fred Gemara, Vidul Meshani Hassan, maybe it's different over there. The Osi Day, you're gonna the reason why he can't change a people and be chayshid, that the person who said he's gonna give it didn't give it. They heard him say, buy a tunic. They see he doesn't have a tunic. They heard him say, buy a talis. He doesn't have a talis. So it's not pshat that that you, you can't change. Pshad is his al-shad. We're going to be chayshed that the guy never gave him the, gave him what he said he's going to give him. The army in she, army planya l'zavnina le levusha le planyanya v'le zavn le. He sold a lavish to planyanya. He never sold it to him. Inami zavnina le glima shirt le zavn le. Says the so therefore what you have no raya to Reb Meir. Says the Mara in Cain. If that's the case that you worry about the shad, listeni the brayser should say mifneach a shad. My mifnei shemavra al daito shabalabai. Yes, guys, look at the lashon. The Brysa gives the reason because you're going against the Das of the Balabayas. If you're saying it's Cheshad, it should say Mifnei Cheshad. If you're Cheshad, he didn't do what he's supposed to do, he didn't keep his word, say that. You don't say that. The reason why, why it's not, he can't do it is because he's Mishana. The Cholamar Val Das Balabayas Nikra Gazlin, and there's Uriah, and there's Uriah. That, that, that so our Mishnah one shot in our Mishnah is why does the Rishon not give a what a proof? Why didn't they give a reason? Because the Mishnah the reason goes according to the Meir says the Meir. Once you took it to the valley, I don't care what happens in the valley. I don't, I don't care what happens there. You're gonna be chayev. The Sefer guys, guys, I don't care how it dies. If Reb Meir was the town of the Sefer, you'd be chayev anyway. Let's say. You took it to the mountains and it slipped and you took it to the mountain. You, you hired it for the valley. The valley, what are you worried about? The air. It goes to the mountain, the air, it's, it's a good air day and the animal dies. Chayef. Chayef. You take it, you hire it for the mountains, right? And it slips in the valley. I mean, that's a question. You know what I'm saying if you, you hire, hire it for, you hire it a place where it can't slip and it does slip, in other words, it, it, I, I'm, I'm, making my, I'm mixing myself up. Even if the reason why it dies had nothing to do with its locale, you still be chayev. So the safe is the chachamim. In other words, once it gives a reason, and the, there's a reason between this and this, it can't be a mayor, because the mayor makes no distinction. It's that you don't listen, you're chayev. So when the ratio, the safe gave a distinction between hochlaka and hochma, therefore it can't be, the, it's the chachamim, and that's the terrace. And and who's the remeyer that's called Mishana? It's not the remeyer of dying, it's not the remeyer of Purim. Dying with it with a Y, it's Reb Meir of the of the of the sale of the Oni with the talus and the and the cholik. Okay. Now the Mishnah said a sechah sachama ve'evrika. We said evrika. Yeah, you have to. How you, you could say asher cholik fanefa. My ve'evrika. What's evrika? Hacha in in bavel tirgmu noharisa. It goes blind. So Lashon side, you know that it goes blind. Rav Ama avzekes. Rashi says avzekes. It has some type of. Uh, on its leg, it has some type of worm. Hataloyim hislio raglecha. The taloyim are going ahead and they're, they're 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 eating away at their foot. If you look on YouTube, if for those people who look at YouTube, they have often they have you see the people working on the animal's hoof, scraping away. They have all kinds of stuff that gets in there. It's not kishmak. Why I watch that, I have no idea. Okay. Ahu uh, da'am lehu avzekes. As avzekes, this taloyim. They must turn into bugs. You know, sometimes you have these worms that, like caterpillars, turn into bugs, like flying things. So now, Avzekes bin Milta de Malka. They said there's a moth in the clothing of the Melech. So he, now he told this to what? He told this to the, the head honchos there. So Amulei b'mai b'mai, right? They asked him, "Bitplay kesef? Is it in white clothing, which is linen? Or bitplay dahav or wool clo or 
gold clothing, which is wool. But he told him it's the bugs are in the linen clothing. And Amr and the cut because of Amr they killed him. Why? Because these bugs don't eat flax. The 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 it was in clothing in gold clothing which is wool which they do eat. Amar vishavku and they let him go. So if if the animal will go blind or the animal will get some type of disease, you could say right and and you'll work and the guy will work with it. or it was taken by the kings. So Dov was worried by the obvious question. It was taken by the king. How can you say It's not there. So Amarav. An angari that's temporary, where they're going to turn, give it back to you. But if it's an, an angari that they're not going to give it back to you, then then you be chayv, the master will be chayv to give him another chamar. Who Shmuel Amar and Shmuel says, This is, the criteria is the following. If it took it the way of going, the imlav b'derech halichas and nitla chayiv laham aloy chamar you chayiv to give another chamar. So it has no, no temporary or not temporary is not Shmuel's criteria. Shmuel's criteria is coming and going. Okay. And the question is, what does it mean coming and going? Let's see. Machloek is Rashi and the Rach says Rashi. In b'derech halichas and nitla shangayim halichas l'derech shahiyazer roitz lahalich the angayim takes him on the way that this person wanted to go. So the guy wanted to go to Oakland, and and uh, he's in Santa Clara, and they take it, and they're going to Oakland, and that's the way he wanted to go. Shekain derech angaria, you can say how you shechol lefanecha. Shekain derech angaria, noitel chamoyre shel zeh, they take the chamor of this guy, umahalich be baila achrecha, and the baal follows the afterwards. The chol chamor shepoyge bar rishain, and then any chamor they reach first, they take. So that's the way of the king. They go ahead and they use up the animal, and then the Baal goes afterwards, and then you're there, they'll return it back to you. That's halichasa, the way the Baal's going. Or, or the, the second guy, he goes ahead. This is rent the and go afterwards. until you get the chamar, until you get what another chamar. So it seems that you go and get another chamar until you finally get yours. That's Rashi. Says the Rach, the the second tesis from the bottom, go up from the bottom one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines up. The Nira Kapir Shrach, the Mefarish in Bederech Alicha. What does that mean? Shangaria aim a chabshim bebatim. Shangaria they don't go looking in houses for animals. Ella, kishapoygin bederech. If they meet an animal on the way, they'll take it. Behind uderech alichasa, meaning they're not going to stop. But if, if it's there while while they're going, not like Rashi said, it's on the way you're going. It's the way they're going. And oimeloi master harishachalo panecha the matzi amalei master chagorim. You shouldn't have left it outside. Sheilu hoisin bebayis like hoisin itelis. If it was in the house, it wouldn't have been taken. But if you lay in chazeres, and even what if you're not going to get it back? Like dummy lemesa, it's not similar to where it's dying. The The fact that why it was taken is your beard mazel. So in other words, he can't tie it's an oinus that I left it outside, not in the house. He tied it as a mazel. What does me mean? Shalei b'derech halichas and he tell us the hainu shemachamshim gam bebatim. If they would search the houses as well, shalzle mazel shal soicha garim has nothing to do with his mazel. They're going to get it anyway. Then chayiv lahamal lechamar is chayiv to get another chamar. Last place malach toy last. Okay, so now, so we have two pshatim guys. We have two cases. We have the case of what of. Of Hivrika and the case of what of of uh, Angaria, and you said you could say how he shall call the fanecha that the master fell to the seicher. Here it is in front of you. How do you get it back? Obviously, the, the case of Hivrika, the animal is compromised either by sight or by limping from a bad foot, depending on on uh, how you learn. Or it's a uh, or it's uh, Angaria. You can go ahead and you can get it back according to Rashi. Follow along according to according to according to Taisvis. According to Taisvis, it's it's harishchol lefanecha, meaning I don't have to provide something else for you. Why? Because it was your mazel that what that caused you to lose it in the first place, and therefore I'm pata. Meisivei, asleichas achamar vevrika. You rent a donkey, vevrika, and it gets what it gets. Uh, again, it's either 
blindness or, or, or infection. Or the animal went nuts. Mesa, if the animal died. Now that's a bit less than this is a problem, guys. Amishna said, if Sangarya takes it, you could say what? And here it says Angarya, it's an oinus. So Bishlaim Alarav, like Hasha, Kan Bagarya Khaizeres, Kan Bagarya Shaina Khaizeres. Amishna says Hari Shakalafanecha, it's a temporary, ex temporary, you know, kidnap kid uh, cow napping or donkey napping. Okay, and and the and the case of what of of the uh, is it's permanent since it's permanent the chayiv to be another one el lishmu el kasha late shmu el shver is what a shmu hold shmu holds that what that chayzeres has nothing to do with it it has to do with derech halichasa so what's the answer bechi teimer lishmu el nami le kasha kan be derech halichasa that's where you could say how she called a panecha nitla kan shalei be derech halichasa nitla in other words the same distinction I. I Rav made by Chazeres, Shmuel made by what? By Halichasa. So the Amishnah that says that, that Harish Chalafanecha was taking Derech Halichasa. And then in Baisa it says, now it ain't Derech Halichasa. Now you got a problem with that. Amid the Tani Seifa, Rav Shimon Allah's Oimer, in Bederech Halichasa Nitla, Aimele Harish Chalafanecha. Then Lav, Chayiv Laham Loi Chamar, Nechal the Tanakama, Loi Loi. Uh, does not, not that terrace. Guys, outside, outside, look at me. Guys, you have a stira. Amishta says, Angaria, Harish Holofanecha. Brysa says, Angaria, you have to give him a new one. Good? How do you reconcile? Rav, Angaria, that Harish uh, Holofanecha, it's Chazeres. I'll give it back to you. This one ain't a Chazeres. Shmuel, I'll give you a terrace. This one was speaking about. That it was it, it was not derech ali it was derech ali chasa, and this is not derech ali chasa, right? And therefore, why don't you give that teretz? And the answer is because that teretz was first introduced by Rishon Ben Elazar in the sefer. Shmuel is saying the din in the Tanakama. So if the Rishon Ben Elazar in the second clause says it, obviously the Tanakama can't be speaking about that. Says the Gemara. Muhammad Tani Saifa Rab Shimon Allah Zaimer in Bidara Halikas and Nitla Aimalah Shikala Fanecha, then Lav Khaiv La Hamalai Khamara, Makal the Tanakama. We can infer the Tanakama that's Lai Shani Lay, you didn't give that terrace. So Amalak Shmuel, Lav me Ika Rab Shimon Allah the Khai Kabasi, and Lav Ami Kim Shimon Allah. I got have a Tana. You asked me a cash from the race, you're right. The Tanakama and I disagree. But I have Shimon Allah who says Dara Khali Khas is a khilik. Ibai Sema, Kul Rab Shimon Allah Sahi, the whole the whole Bryce is of Shimon Laza. The whole Bryce is of Shimon Laza. The Chsuri Nechsur and its missing words, Vachi Ketani. Here's the way you have to learn. Hasoicher es hachamar. The Hevrika, if someone rents a donkey, the Hevrika, and it goes blind, Oyin the Shtatis, it goes crazy, Oyin Eloi, Hari Shechol Afenecha. Mesa, Oyin Shinas, Zangarya, Chayv Laham Eloi Chamar. The Medvar Mamurim, that you Chayv to give a Chamar, if what? Angarya, the Shalei B'der Chali Chasa. That's provided about it was taken shleib b'derech halichasa, but nitla nitla. I'm a nitla b'derech halichasa. I'm a law. You could say hari shelchol lefanecha. Div Reb Shimon Alaza. Shem Shimon Alaza. I'm there in b'derech hilucha nitla. I'm a law. Hari shelchol lefanecha. Vim law. You chayiv lahav lechamar. Chamar. You chayiv to go edvad and give a chamar. Fred the Gemara. We must ask Mukhlas Reb Shimon Alaza. Bakatani Reisha. Asaycha es hachamar vevrika. Oish nishtato. I'm a law. Hari shelchol lefanecha. Dealer Shimon Alaza, I'm a Sakas Hamar, Lirka Velaha, Vivrika, I should start the Chai Lahamle Hamar. So you see that you can't say I should call the Fenecha. I'm a Lirka Velah Shiny to go ahead, what? And and right on, it's different. Okay, we'll pick it up here tomorrow. I'll go over this last terrace and I'll, I'll introduce it tomorrow. I'll segue it tomorrow.